My mom has a sign hanging in her classroom that says, what we learn with pleasure, we never forget. Teachers want kids to have fun while learning, but it can be hard. It's getting better because we have new technology like iPads and laptops, but one of the most popular games out there is Minecraft. Now some adults think Minecraft is violent nonsense and they miss the educational power of this game. First of all, it's easy to set Minecraft to peaceful mode, keeping out all the bad monsters, zombies, and creepers, so kids can learn in a safe way. First, uh, er, according to Kid Rex, Minecraft can educate students in areas like art, writing, and math. Other ways Minecraft can educate students is in areas like geometry, social skills, and music. But let's stick to the basics. First up is art. Now when you try out Minecraft, there are three modes. Survival and adventure mode are more about strategy. But in creative mode, kids can just go nuts. The art teacher can give us an assignment in the Minecraft app. Or with our free time, we can make something to express ourselves. Like building our dream house or making something out of clay using the clay feature in the program. What I've learned most from Minecraft is to be creative. Next is writing. Now out of all the areas Minecraft could have benefit, who would expect writing? When you mix a book and a feather, you get a booking quill tool. With this, you can write whatever you want, from stories to information to even Minecraft adventure maps. For ki other kids, like your friends could play. And during my research, I found a mom who was homeschooling her boy using the Minecraft writing tool. Why can't we use the Minecraft writing tool at school? The last, and I think the most helpful benefit, is practicing math. Now from a problem as small as three plus three sugar canes equals six pieces of paper, to a problem as big as 40 times 70 for calculating the area of a building. I built a house with 14 blocks of the width and 18 blocks of the length. I wanted to see and understand why my area was 252 blocks. And I c with all that space, I was able to fit a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a television room. So Angel93, that's my handle, could live quite comfortably. So please, teachers, please consider making room for Minecraft in your classrooms. And students, next time you log on to Minecraft, spend some time in creative mode so you can learn while having fun. Because what we learn with pleasure, we never forget.